Uh, this was a unique name, dude. I wonder why, why, why he was aggressive to us. I don't know. Said of the swashbuckler. I mean, it'll be worth selling for sure. Cheese wheels, heck yeah. Uh, key to the rock shelter. Okay. Rattled mage circlet. It's rattled. Someone shook it. Shook it. It's rattled. <laughs> Scroll of the water deep. Spell tome elixir. Increases health for an ally. Staff of Grounding, Steel Dagger. Man, you could have done better, dude. You really could have done better. Ambrosia. Death Spark. What is Death Spark? Entropy. That's not our that's not our gig. Our gig. Almost feel almost worried that we killed this guy because, you know, is this an exit? It is. Interesting. Uh. Because, you know, he had a unique name. I hope, hopefully he wasn't like some, I mean, he, I don't know. I mean, it's just like uh, any game, I suppose. Like, he might might have been important to a quest, or he might have just been a bad guy for a quest of maybe a future bounty that we just somehow got ahead of time or something. But that just goes the way we came, though. That doesn't actually help us get up the area that I was trying to get up to. Hmm. And I don't think there is a levitate spell. Maybe it's just decoration. I'm thinking that must be it. It must just be decoration. But now that we have the key, this gate over here. Oh! Oh, thank you, Subi J. Mm. And Star Kitty. Oh, I was a little slow on the draw there, Subi J. I needed that. Whoo, boy. Huh, this is still kind of all marked off. Hmm. Maybe that's why these guys were in here. They were trying to figure out how to get that 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 gate open. Oh well.
Oh, but you know what? I want to go out, out the other exit. That would be way more interesting. Now we get to explore a different part of the heartland than we've seen before. We probably should have had our, had our weapons out <laughs> for this. <clears throat> Nighttime. Where are we at? Oh. What if there's any of our of our other quests nearby here? Uh, the that's, uh, we received the reward from Russia. Okay, cool. The biggest egg hunt ever. Uh, myths and legend. Gonna turn them all on for now, so we can see. Yeah, there's actually uh, Meet Lashiri. Oh, that's that's one of the main quests. Find a Pyrrhean artifact. Wonder what the little asterisks mean. Hmm. Old Ration Guard. Which one is that one? Meet Lashiri. Meet Lashiri. Which quest is this one? Meet Lashiri. Read all volumes of the Butcher of Ark. Search Petiria's camp for hints. Lashiri. Why are we having such a hard time finding this? I always have a quest to... Oh, meet Lashiri and Old Ration Guard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't want to do that one. I was right. That is a main quest. So, crud. That's still kind of a hike into areas we've never been. I think, I, I think I'd rather just uh, head back to get the, the reward from Rasha. Yeah, that seems like a, a safe bet. We also want to do... Let's go talk to Jaspar after that. 
We haven't said hello to him in a while. See what he's up to. Hello, Dark Diaz. How are you this evening? Ah, oh, it's so it's so good to see you. Thank you for for joining us. <clears throat> we are uh, having some fun in Enderall here, Ooh. and we hear hear sounds of people. They might be bad guys, though. Ooh. Retire someday. Give myself an island. Is that all I got? It took you down in two shots, sir, buddy. I think that was sufficient. Oh man, we've loaded up. I didn't realize we were so loaded up. Dang, boy. All right, that's awesome. Lots of stuff to sell now. Let's eat some uh, soup. Watery cabbage stew. Brody. What do we want to drop here? Uh, we need to lose four pounds. So, Let's see, that's obviously a drop, but that doesn't help us enough. There we go. That did it. Yeah, so Enderall is a complete overhaul. It's not You can't even call it an overhaul, because an overhaul assumes it's the same game. It's a completely different world with completely different characters, completely different landmass, lore, everything. It's it's basically, they took the Skyrim, some, some amazing modders, took the Skyrim engine and made a whole new game out of it. And when I say a whole new game, I mean a whole new game. Look at this, it's spectacular. And it's been so much fun. It's it's uh it's just perfect for for a nice relaxing enjoyable Monday night uh, jaunt for uh oh boy we just about died there from that from that fall. Well, uh, uh, Styrium can be stale. But, uh, but, you know, obviously once you've added a lot of great new content, like for example, example we uh, on Wednesdays and Fridays we're doing Serenity 2 mod list for Skyrim. Uh, and there are two ways we're making it fun and exciting. Besides that, you know, obviously this, this Serenity 2 list mod list is 964 mods now and it's ridiculously gorgeous. It's so good it looks like a completely different game and it makes it feel like a completely different game. And there's a ton of new content into, in it. It's uh, like high level stuff. And so we're gonna be enjoying that. And then finally, the, the best part is we're doing superheroes of Skyrim, which means we're, we're creating Marvel or DC style characters in Skyrim. And they're kind of like the reincarnation or manifestation of, of uh, uh, you know, like so far we've done Captain America and Hulk and they have different names, of course. But, uh, uh... Well, hey there, Don, Don Quixote. Let's get on our donkey and ride! Ride! (laughs) 
Yeah, I understand what you're saying, for sure. See, where are we doing? Where are we going? Yeah, I mean, I had played Skyrim like 10 years ago. And, uh, you know, played it all the way through. Did most of the stuff in it. And then, um... Uh, I guess I could have still rode my donkey a little further. He's a little bit faster than me, I think. Uh... Do, 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 And so, uh, anyway, I was a little, little, uh, with you on that as far as being a little burned out, but, uh, you know, years went by and. Um. Yeah, it's all for. Oh, man, again, with the cross. Oh, it's so frustrating. Enderall has been doing that lately. It's not often that it does that, but it does happen from time to time. I think it has to do with the auto save because it uh, it seems to crash more often than not. Uh, man, that was a ways back too. That's a bummer. Makes me want to uh, pick up a. There's one negative thing about about uh, Enderall, and that's there's no fast travel. And uh, you know when it crashes like that, come on, turn my lantern on. Uh, it makes me want to, you know, straight up uh, turn on the fast travel. Or well, there's no. You can't turn it on in the game. But you can get a mod that turns it on. Um, so. Little, uh, little midnight swim. Well, I don't know if it's midnight. I don't know what time it is, actually. What time is it in game? It is 1.31 a.m. Little midnight swim. Close enough, anyway. We're going that away. Come full for magic donkey. Thank you. Let's go, D DQ. Let's, let's, let's not get DQ, DQ. I like I like this tournament of life. Guards, what are you doing all congregating? You need to get moving and like actually, you know, what good is hanging out in one spot together? Oh, I forgot all about that. We have a fast travel thing right here. Sweet marketplace. We're gonna go get some rest for the night. Get rid of this darkness, and then in the morning, we will. Uh... Da, da, da. Well, hello. <laughs> oh, I I can totally relate to that dark DS. It, for a stream, though, it tends to, you know, there there are times when we, you know, some folks might get a little impatient, and uh, and so, you know, I, and it's not it's not just about impatience; it's just pacing, right? And so, I can definitely understand uh, why it might be worthwhile to turn on fast travel. I finally did in the in the Skyrim Serenity builds that we're running, because uh, I yeah, I just feel like there are times when. You know, I've ex had an excursion out, 
to like a locale to, to, to loot loot a ruined shipwreck or something. And all I know that all the stuff between the, the my home base and that boat is empty space because I've cleared it getting to that boat. And so to have to sit there and just watch me go over the same terrain all over again isn't ex exactly exciting pacing. So um, on Stalker Anomaly, half of the fun in doing missions is the travel in the zone and stuff that happens in between. Oh, I don't know what that is. Is that a special kind of uh, mod that adds random stuff to the areas that you've already been through? Because if so, that'd be kind of neat. <laughs> Get a good, we'll get a solid six hours sleep. Go outside and sell some loots. Oh! Uh, Neato. I, I, I played the first one and loved it. Seriously, you guys aren't out in your shops yet. It's freaking 8 a.m. Isn't it? Isn't that what I rested till? 8 a.m. Where are you people? Get to work for crying out loud. Got lots of stuff to sell. Doesn't require the base game? How is that even possible? This, this is leather goods. This is tailoring. Hammers, daggers, swords, the best. Looking for steel? I can provide. Everything for the path abiding soldier. Cool, I appreciate the, the feedback, Dark Diaz. I'll add it to the ever-growing list. <laughs> it's, it's rough. Uh, let's see here. We're going to sell him the, the hunting bow. Um, man, both of these magic bows are awesome. Sell him the fire, the fire bow. And uh, let's see, this the steel daggers like all those. And there we go. We're gonna sell him. Firm leather cures, firm leather arm protector, fine leather boots. Set of the swashbuckler, heart of the swashbuckler. I think I better not sell that in case I'm trying to collect those. Firm leather shoes. Heavy leather gauntlets, all of the above. Thank you very much. And boots, that's a lot of boots. Damn. Shadow skin, and we're gonna probably hold on to. That's a crazy good. We decide to. But we're not doing a sneaky build, so I don't know if that's actually. I, I still wanna hold on to it. We'll put it in our chest. We'll put it in our chest. Uh, potion ambrosia. Wow, okay. Energized water from Inodon. Yeah, we can sell that. Mana flux, rancid. Sell that. Let's see if he's got another heavy armor adept. He does. That way we can be even on that. I don't have enough pennies. Oh, crap. I was trying to buy the wrong one. Thank God I didn't have the, the pennies. Uh, heavy armor adept. 166. That's better. Oh, I was trying to buy too many of them. That's what was going on. Come again. 
get over here and, and learn, learn the books. Heavy armor adept. Oh, cool. It, it automatically gives it back to me. That's cool. It is free because the engine was made open source and the community wrote everything and made custom graphics. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. For the very first one, I really enjoyed the first one. Just put and get, get there. The community is active and there are always new mods every day to customize it. Thanks for the tips. I appreciate it. Like I said, I, I would be intrigued. I just... You know, it's like finding the time when we have so many games that we want to try out. Uh, it's, it's tough. Uh, we picked up a lot of stuff. We need to sell off some of this junk. Mm hmm. Hmm? Can I help Walk you? Black. Sure. Take a look. Hmm. Mesmerize. Elixir. Death Spark. Okay. Crafting books. I want to hold on to all those, I suppose. Elementalism Apprentice. We can't use that anymore. Uh, we're, not doing, we're not doing light armor, so... At least get rid of those. Huh, she doesn't want to buy regular books. That surprises me. Walk blessed. The light fades away at the end of the day. Ta -dum -dum. Let's go see how much money we've earned in the bank. Mm. <laughs> Yay, we got a bounty. Woohoo! Ma Mollus was a stowaway who hid himself in a ship from Nerim. He was discovered in the harbor, overwhelmed the captain of the ship, and killed three recruits of the city guard on his way through the city, only to hold up in the undercity. I have to kill him to receive the bounty. There are 200 pennies. Wow, he's down in the undercity. Well, fresh from the oven. Treat yourself. Hello. How may I be of service? Uh, let me access my vault. Of course. All right. We're getting 116 pennies per day. The max interest rate is 2 250. I think we need to get to 9 or 10,000 gold for that to happen. So, let's We don't walk blessed. And don't forget, your money is safe with Sylvan and friends. Exceedingly safe, believe me. All right, now we got to figure out what we want to do. We could do this other bounty, or we could. Well, by the way, we can see where it's at. We already know where it's at. And we actually need to go down there. Uh, we need to go talk to Jespar. Let's do that. Oh well. 
They have not only defined yes. Is that the only ones that we, the only quests that we have up is that one and Jaspar? Yeah, perfect. Also, then we'll go talk to Jaspar first. We'll hang out with him. See what he's up to. It's always awesome chatting with friends. Having a, ha having a meal. Uh, a drink. Sharing company. Yes. Yes. Check it out. This is a cool ass inn, guys. Skin is usually has like dancing and all kinds of stuff. As I said, the offer stands. Just think about it, okay? I will. Take care. Yes. You should go into the whisper and see what you can find in the old fortress. I'll wait for you in the undercity. See, check it out. Unique music made just for Enderall. Made, stew, roast pork. Anyone? That's so cool. Hey, you came. Come on, take a seat. Yes, of course it's so nice. So, tell me, how are you holding up? It must have been quite the whirlwind. Yesterday, a refugee from another country, and now a prodigy with a magic great enough to impress old Bushybeard. <laughs> Honestly, I'm still trying to make sense of all this. Good luck with that. <laughs> I'm quite curious to see how things keep on with you. You're different. I noticed that the time we met. Anyhow, tell me, what do you make of this country now that you've had some time to look around? I figure it must be quite the change from Narim. Tell Jespar about recent events. Well, you're right about that. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, I can picture that. You know, this is exactly the reason why I love inns so much. The sky can rain fire out there. In here, you'll always meet laughter and good humor. Mm -hmm. Not to mention all the good looking men and women. A richly set table indeed. Absolutely. Though I think I've seen enough of this place by now. Of Enderall, I mean. There's a ship sailing for Kile next morning. And as it seems, it will be the last one for quite some time to come. Who knows? Maybe they still have a cabin to spare for a handsome treasure hunter. What? You're gonna leave? In spite of all that's happening? <laughs> oh well. This entire thing was more a coincidence than planned anyhow. The order needed someone with skill and discretion. I was around. End of story. I never intended to stick around for much longer. Heck, me as an ambassador of the Holy Order, could you imagine that? <coughs> Not one step further, O oh fair maiden. Drop your garment so we may both bathe in Malthus's holy light. Hmm. Actually, not that bad, don't you think? <laughs> uh, very convincing. Oh, you're too kind. But you know, at the end of the day, I guess I'd probably lack both the pathos and the idealism for such a profession. You know, I'm aware of how these esteemed keepers up there talk about sellswords like me. I could save 30 virgins from a myrid on Rampage. At the end of the day, they'd always say I did it for the money, because I wanted to bet the women, or whatever. I'm driven by inferior motives. While no matter what their actions end in, they are good guys, because they do things for the right reasons. If only they'd understand that it's results that matter, not intentions. What does the wise hermit say? Nothing is of less importance to the saved than the reason for their rescue. The only difference between a mercenary like me and a holy warden is that I'm at least aware of the fact that I do what I do for myself and no one else. Hmm. What exactly are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that all those heroes and self-declared messiahs are no better than everyone else. In the end, we are all selfish because we always act in accordance to what we think we have to be like. So yes, maybe the keeper saves the farmer from the bandits. But at the end of the day, he does it because he sees himself in a certain light. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is that a lot of times, it's especially those who think of themselves driven by a higher purpose who are the really dangerous ones. It's true. They don't understand what drives them, and that makes them easy to manipulate. The only thing left to do for the capable hate monger or tyrant is to somehow combine his own ambitions with the mental image of this person. And presto, you got your perfect puppet. 
only waiting to dive into the next hail of arrows for their honor, their religion, or whatever they thought of this time. It's just so idiotic, you know? Mm -hmm. The world would be a much better place if everyone could just acknowledge that the only reason we're here is that we want to be happy. That's true. Dang it, Star Kitty, you're so mean. <laughs> it quit quickly. Wow, interesting. Uh, there's sense in that, I'll admit. Really? I was half expecting you to throw insults at me. That's what people usually do when I tell them that. But I guess life is full of surprises. <laughs> anyway, I'll take my leave now. I very much enjoyed our talk. But the ship to Kile leaves before the first cocks crow tomorrow, and I want some more time to think about it. For what it's worth, I wouldn't mind if you stayed. The city needs more good-looking mercenaries. <laughs> well, it most recently gained a good-looking Aramis man. Maybe that'll make up for when I leave. Keep your chin up. Hmm. Yes, of Bye, Jispar. Good luck. Oh, you're letting letting just bar know to always keep believing, huh? Yep. <laughs> well, well, well. My sir. All right, so that quest is done. And I guess we could either go hunt this other dude down or do something more meaty. Uh, 